my mic's working now. I don't know what happened. Like I can hear now. Does it sound clearer or? Sounds like, yeah, sure. <laughs> great, great. <laughs> Love to hear that. Wait, Chima, talk? Talk. Make sure that it's actually coming through that microphone because I don't think it is. Really? No, nothing says external microphone. Dude, I don't think that oh, mic works. You know, it, it's for uh, it's for show. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hello again, fellow beekeeping enthusiasts, and welcome to the first installment of the third episode of the Chalky Milk Podcast. Season, Season two, two, episode one, baby. We're excited to be back. Can't wait Better to get this ever. thing off the road. This episode has been weeks, if not months, in the making. Every so. day. We think about this. It's impossible. This. It's impossible for it to disappoint. Mm-hmm. Cannot do anything mm-hmm. but exceed expectations at this we point. We know you guys have been waiting a really long time for this, you know, and we wanted for to give the fans what they wanted. That, that's all there was to it, you know? All of our hefty amount of subscribers. We got eight right now. That's an improvement of the past. Uh, we expect, you know, an increase in subscribers as we keep going. But, you know, we just want to be loyal to our fans. Yeah, and we know for all of you out there, this is a tough time that we're all going through. And I know you guys look to us for like entertainment and comfort and support. So we're gonna do our best to power through. And you we're gonna know, get through this. We're gonna spread our joy because that's that's why we're mm-hmm. here. Damn it! Thank you, yeah. first responders, everybody. Yes, everyone. No on the joke. Front lines. Legitimately, the thank deal. you. Mm-hmm. Tyler's yeah. suspiciously quiet. I don't know if he has. I mean, an issue I'm just, them, dude. But... I'm just thinking about like I, you got to shout out like you know your Chick Fil A drive through people mm-hmm. and like your Jersey Those Mike's the... drive through people. Those <laughs> the are the real essential heroes. workers, the first responders. That's who we're talking about. When I the Jersey want Mike's is a drive through. They are the first ones to respond, and <laughs> no, but they should. <laughs> they should. They really should. They're people really that should. give us They're food real. when we order it. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, what was it? We're definitely we're thankful for all the fast food people out there, bringing me freaking McDanks whenever I need it. And the um, doctors. And that's the only person I think I can't think of anybody else. Oh really? Wow. Uh, mm-hmm. That's okay. You have your yeah. priorities straight, so like I understand, you know, where you're coming from. Um, yeah, but uh, we're definitely happy to be back. Um, I don't know. Everybody's been sort of toughing it out, as we said. Uh, Chima grew the gnarliest beard this week Lopsided. and he shaved it off today. Yeah, it, it was a and... two month process. Uh, <laughs> you know, I was really proud of my work. Um, there's like parts of my beard that were gray just because of, uh, Love that. you know, I have no clue, but you know, it just adds character really to does. the beard. Um, it was a two month process. I start, I start growing out a little bit uh, after like St. Patrick's Day weekend, UMass and stuff, but you know, as the quarantine started, I was like, you know, I need something to just take my time. So the beer was a real great way to get out there. But today was the first time I like went outside uh, my house and stuff. So uh, really? my mom was like pretty like I've went to like the beach and stuff, but nothing like nothing like what I did today. Today was an adventure. Um, but my mom was like, yeah, that's got to come off uh, for some reason. Uh, you can't like masks don't work as well with a beard and you know it's a mom so you can't really argue about that stuff so just did it and uh moms what moms say is final yeah it is final which is tough but uh like i just feel like our household is like new york yankees like we can't facial hair uh in the household which is tough but we get through it yeah hey keep that uniform tucked back in you know what i'm saying (laughs) let's do it thing to say but yeah (laughs) Yeah, that's okay uh, I shaved two days after I came home, so that's been about like six weeks, maybe eight weeks. I don't even know when I what month is it? May is five. I don't know when I came home, honestly. But it's definitely it's been May. about two, been about five weeks. No, just kidding. Seven weeks. I don't yeah. know. Um, Give or take. Yeah. So I just grew it out because I've always been curious, and I keep like trimming it because i just don't like how long it is so i think it just you know the experiments run its course gonna get rid of it also like it was warm the other day and it felt weird having a beard when it's warm out i don't know but not just gonna buzz it off 
I'm going to give myself mutton chops for like just a day. I think it'd be funny. Mm. Thoughts? I like it. I think it's important for your brand and just Pay your for personal endeavors. Dude, I then, feel like the like the chops are always like the first part that grows in. You know what I mean? And then it sort of comes together. And well, you had to you. you had to wait it out to make sure that it would come together. For me, the chin really grows in strong, as you can see. So mm. like, you know, like it's a cutoff almost. Like you can see where the chin goes out. And then I have this thing I want to just see if I just go like straight across, like like moto moto. You know that thing, mm. hippo oh, from Madagascar God. too, where he's like. <laughs> and but i'm gonna leave the stash i want to see what this looks like that is the worst part to leave but no nah, it's fine I'm, I'm sure somebody yeah. somewhere wants to see it <laughs> <laughs> and then maybe i'll experiment with like a horseshoe mustache again just for like a day just because it looks funny that's what we're talking yeah. about mm-hmm. what have you guys been doing since uh quarantine started um dude i find myself doing the most random shit sometimes like we had we had finals this previous week and mm-hmm. I just it wasn't feeling it. So every like every like ten minutes out of every like hour, I would go on like I went on mini clip like a lot just because I didn't wa- I didn't want to like get sucked into like a thirty minute YouTube video. But I found oh my god those old games on mini clip Raft Wars they bring oh, they wait, brought back stop. the memories. Wait wait baby. real quick, you get two seconds to think. What's your favorite mini clip game? Raft Wars. Draft wars. There's some baseball game that I played a, a lot, but mini clip. That's a big throwback. That's a ten years plus throwback. So uh, the names of the games are going to be a little, a little off my mind. Why are you talking like a sports <laughs> commentator? You know, we just Dude. we got to believe in ourselves. I can't believe you didn't do the research before this. God, you didn't <laughs> go on mini clip again. I used to use Game Garage. Game. Garage. Oh, I never heard of that. It's like the same hmm. thing. <laughs> Yeah, no, I used armor games back in the day, but Ooh. nobody's fucking heard of that. Cool math games had cool oh, non-math yes. games, which is weird. <laughs> no, those were the Off best. Off-brand. Mm-hmm. What was it? And then, I don't know, outside of that, like, it's just been the generic stuff. Ever since finals ended, I've had, like, way more time. So I started, like, running, you know, <laughs> what else the hell are you going to do? Um, yeah. I don't know. I'm watching a show with my sister, Outer Banks. It's It's okay. It's, like... You know, it's like a drama show. Um, I'm into it. It is like what a it teen is. drama. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's normal. Like, um, like shallow. <laughs> like just it's like 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 Riverdale style is a good way to look. Yeah, at it. mm-hmm. it's just pure um, entertainment, nothing more. But yeah, I mean, outside of that, everybody's been staying inside. You know, Corona's house it has everybody crazy. Um, people are all over Facebook debating whether or not we should have you know the beaches open or not um big talk my brother I personally has take the class. stand that we shouldn't talk about it <laughs> that's my stance mm-hmm. yeah you know i agree. the chalky milk gang podcast is not a political atmosphere mm-hmm. <laughs> wait i i think we have to address something because our first two episodes great episodes by the way feel free Starts to watch happening. them but uh uh pretty much like we do not have chocolate milk on us right now so that's you know tough. What? It's a quarantine really takes out everybody, you know, mm. nowhere is safe. It's but a we'll tough spot for we'll us. Strong. Mm-hmm. Maybe we'll but try a bunch about. and rank them. I don't know. Ooh, mm. little teaser. You'll have to watch all of our other episodes to find out. <laughs> the other two. No, in the future. Mm. Oh, in the future. <laughs> We're doing that. Yeah. 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 It's exciting. Mm. Wait, Tyler, uh, what's Bitmoji Party? Bitmoji Party? So <laughs> Bitmoji Party is um, it's a game on Snapchat where basically it's the simplest thing. It's like mini games. Um, you log on with like a bunch of people. It takes you through like four or five like stupid little games. Like um, you have to run away from the ghost, or I don't know. You have to stay like you have to stay on like a platform while somebody else tries to get you off of it. It's it's like super simple, dumb stuff like that, but yeah. you can like talk with all your friends at the same time. It's it's a Snapchat game. It's a rip off of an actually good game, but you know. Do you um, like do that with your what family? What else is there to do, honestly? Or what was it? Do you do that with your family or like? Um. Oh no no, that's been my honestly, that's been my way of keeping in touch with a lot of my college friends because oh, like mm, cool. you know we're out here and some people like to zoom you know and chill with everybody and do it that way. Um, for those of us that live close by, you know, you pull up in your cars and you can chill. 
oh, pop your trunk open and stuff like that. And then for some of us, we play crappy video games on Snapchat. You know, it, it is what it's it is. It's each their own. Whatever floats the boat. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's yeah. good stuff, um, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm... it's 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 been like a meh quarantine, but I everybody's kind of in the same boat. I know you guys are as well. Yeah, I was gonna say I do pretty similar stuff. Where like when I as school was in when school was happening, is like you kind of got to do the classes as almost as well as you can, but not quite. Um, like I had finals last week, um, but before school and starting now, I'm gonna be like working out more because my mom brought weights home from the Y. And I ordered a pull-up yeah, bar. Yeah, that's lucky. Ordered a pull-up bar. I got running shoes, so I'm going to try to – never been a runner before in my life, but might as well start, right? Investment right there. It's an investment. And I've watched a lot of stuff like movies. and I could. So I'm just going to quickly, quickly list the movies I've seen since I've been in quarantine. It's not that many. In order of how good they are, or at least how much I like them. Jojo Rabbit, mm. Parasite, Knives Out, 1917, and then Uncut Gems, because I just wanted to watch a lot from like this past year. Mm-hmm. Um, other ones that I saw like before was Marriage Story, The Irishman, The Lighthouse, Joker, and The Two Popes, and Booksmart. So I saw a lot from this year. Not going to lie. Yeah. Haven't yeah. heard of one of those movies, but Which one? I think- I haven't heard of any of them. But, <laughs> That's great. But I, I trust your judgment. Yeah. yeah. Um, those are the, the, the four or five you listed at the beginning are probably the four or five best movies to come out this year, which is you know, yeah, fantastic. Definitely. Like, mm-hmm. that's what I tried to do. I tried to watch like, not j- like, like a lot of the Oscar best picture noms or like just mm-hmm. other, like I like watching other youtube channels that talk about movies and stuff so like stuff they've recommended i like to try to watch those and then i also want to shout out groundhog day and ex machina because i had to watch those for my philosophy class and not horrible actually kind of entertaining movies mm-hmm. and then classroom was, classroom movies the movies that they make you watch are the freaking weirdest sometimes i know sometimes they make those movies. are tough i don't know how i feel about them yeah, Although I mean, back I, in I elementary a... school, when they would wheel in that big, like, foot long deep TV, and you're like, "Oh yeah, we're watching something today." <laughs> the Sound of Music for the fourth time. <laughs> Bill Nye. Bill Nye. The Dude, Bill Nye. Nye. Bill Nye's a legend. Yeah. That's pretty sick. And then also, I watched Barry. Highly recommend the show, and Middle Ditch and Schwartz, which is. And like three improv specials on Netflix with Thomas Middleditch and Ben Schwartz. Legitimately the funniest thing I've ever watched. Mm. Could not recommend that enough. I, I might watch it again quick, like soon. Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay, send that over. I mean, I've seen Barry too. I can vouch for that. That's a fantastic show, but literally never heard of that other one before. So love to hear it. Yeah, I didn't really hear about it much, but I just kind of came across like them doing promo for it on like late night TV, like like Conan interviews or whatever. And like, I know who these people are. So I was like, yeah, I'll check that out. And oh my God, sure. it's hilarious. Mm-hmm. Chima, what about you? Yeah, you know, it, it's been exciting. Uh, well, no, actually it hasn't. It's quarantine. But uh, overall, couldn't, couldn't, be, uh, couldn't be too bad. Uh, a lot of YouTube. Uh, some big time channels I've been watching lately, uh, like Do Perfect, uh, Karen Nate, Fairbairn Films, MLW Wiffle Ball, Trey, uh, Trey Kennedy, Trevor Wallace, uh, William Hotch is one of them. Uh, mm-hmm. Just the Strong Seven, uh, great YouTube channels. That's been keeping me. Keeping link in me description. That. Wait, what? Uh, the link to William Hotch in description. Oh yeah, there we go. We got we got we got a plug. Um, but yeah, that's been keeping me uh, keeping me tight. Uh, finished classes. I think I think uh, all my exams went pretty well. Uh, been hanging out with my dog, playing k- baseball catch with my dad. I once uh, I once threw wiffle ball against him, and like he just couldn't he couldn't do it. I was throwing the drop, and he just couldn't. Uh, it was pretty funny. Uh, we're looking for a new car right now, and uh, you know we're just 
we're just, we're just hoping we get out of this soon, but uh, it, it's been, it's been kind of nice to get some time off. College has been, it was a busy year. So good stuff. Sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's something that nobody's talking about is the fact that we all get a, like this massive break and we don't have to do anything. And that's beautiful because this fucking sucks and nobody wants to talk about the positives because it feels yeah. so yeah. negative, but it feels weird to say like, well, silver lining guys. <laughs> yeah. But like, honestly, like take a look at the fucking silver lining. Cause it's there and it's uh-huh. like really good. I'd say when classes started up, I was like, this is the worst of both worlds. I wouldn't mind doing classes and seeing my friends at school like Mm -hmm. normal, but I also wouldn't mind being home doing nothing because I can Mm -hmm. just like do nothing, but I don't get to see my friends and I have to do classes. (laughs) Not going to lie. My dad loves the quarantine. Like he tells me that every day, like he gets to work at home. He sees his dog. He sees his family. He, he's like, yeah, I don't want this to end. He also tells me I got to read a book, all that good stuff. Might as well, man. Yeah, I actually agree. I don't I'm going to learn read. how to read one day. I'm actually, I can't read. I'm just like really good at guessing, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but I can't What's read. What's the name of the game? Fake it till you make it, man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's kind of how you yeah. learn how to read, though. Yeah. So how have you made it through high school? Dude, I'm really good at guessing. Okay. <laughs> I cannot stress that enough. Did that translate to Tufts well, or like, was it a learning curve? Absolutely. Okay, that's good. <laughs> I, I love to hear it. Yeah, also, I, besides the fact that I've had classes kind of on the earlier side some of the times, but generally, I've been sleeping a lot more because I just don't need to get up and do stuff. Oh, yeah. Honestly, that's probably the nicest part, especially on the weekends, too. Is even though I go to bed at like four a.m., I wake up at like <laughs> one o'clock, and then like yeah. everybody else, and it's just mm-hmm. it's so nice to be able to sleep, get that actual nine hours in. Yeah, it's like with my, I, I had finals at eight thirty a.m. two days in a row last week, and then the third day was Saturday, and I slept mm-hmm. for twelve hours, which was mm. about as much as I slept total the two previous nights. It was it's exciting. Amazing. It was amazing. Mm-hmm. And our dreams, too. I bet they've been pretty good. I've been dreaming a lot, for sure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Why what? do we think that is? Like, I feel like I just haven't – I wasn't really dreaming as well, like, back on campus. And now that I'm at home, we're just dreaming think, every day. Honestly, I don't know. Oh. I, for me, personally, I kind of go in waves. Sometimes I just don't remember any dreams for a while, and then I just remember it all the time. Sometimes you'll wake up in a dream and you'll remember it better, but I don't, I don't, I don't know. I mean, if I had to guess, um, when, you're, when we're in college, we're so much busier. We have so much on our plate. Um, and then we've come back home now and we just sort of have nothing to do. We have like nothing on our agendas, sort of that blank slate mentality. I think we have so much more clarity when we go to sleep. Yeah, so we're probably less on our brains. We have more room to be better. creative. Or if I had to guess, when we're, in, when we're in college, like, you know, shit's going down all the time. There, you don't yeah. feel like, when you go to bed, you're just passing out and getting ready for the next day. Yeah, Whereas now, you're sleeping I think, better now. What was it? There's like this sense of security when you go to bed in your own room, you know what I mean? Mm. Mm-hmm. Thanks. Our beds are yeah. better here anyway. Oh my God. Honestly, I kind of liked my bed at school. Really? I don't know. I did too, but like. I had these like really soft sheets. They're like jersey material, so they like they stay colder or something, and they're really mm. soft. Sure. And I like having that <laughs> length because my feet just touch the bottom, like they yeah. like hang over a little bit. That sucks. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, because your bed in the background there looking, it's looking good because oh it's yeah. like no, it's like a full this, size, right? This shit is so much better than my college bed like oh like i go to college and i have i have my no you don't and you're right i don't i was just lying no 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 no. no, no. i got um i got like a comforter so it's it's like honestly my college bed is probably like fluffier than this thing but it's like you get that like mini half size twin bed barely long enough to fit you so they can like say that they're meeting regulation. It's dude, it's an extra long bed. You you roll okay, yeah, it's long, but it's not wide at all. You roll over to one side and you fall off. Yeah. It's just but that's my bed at home. Easy. I have a twin bed here. 
No. So, oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm talking about. We have yeah. smaller than a twin bed at school, and it's the worst. And Stop. like, I mean, I don't, I don't know how I live with that because I had, I've only had this bed for like two years or something. So like throughout all of high school, I was like, sort of in the same page, except if, you know my feet were falling off too. And I gotta say, the, I've, I've been sleeping in this thing, and I have not gone back. If I just is- gained a large sum of money, one of the first things. I would get is a full size bed because mm-hmm. I need that. <laughs> I didn't have a mattress topper my freshman year, and like Tinder Sarah one time was right. like, "Yo, like, what are we doing here? Like, this is bad." But like, then I got a mattress topper, and that's pretty much changed the game. And I thought my bed was comfy my freshman year, but you know what? It probably wasn't. It was probably a bad experience. But now it's it's exciting. Every day is just new opportunity to succeed, and it's just great. <laughs> the optimism is fantastic. <laughs> we love it. There's one. We thing need we need that enthusiasm you. right now. <laughs> yeah, you know, just get through the quarantine, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but anyway, through all this, I, dude, the dreams have been crazy. The dreams like, dreams are great. I even dream today. Tell. Do you have I, any details? I dreamed this dream? afternoon, like after so. We all, we all as like a friend group, we hung out today. Uh, at socially an, distanced. Socially distanced, six feet apart, uh, masks, the whole deal. But uh, pretty much full like nine. we – Full nine. And uh, we walked uh, – we, we went over to this office building in, in our town. And uh, because like the cops don't like it when you go to like a public parking lot. Yeah, because they can just sit there. Yeah, they can just chill. They're doing their, they're doing their thing. Um, but I had a dream literally about the office building that we went to when I took a nap at like nine o'clock tonight. And it was great. Pretty much like everyone that was on one side of the office building, like didn't have coronavirus. And then, then then the people on the other side of the building had a coronavirus. And it had something to do with my bike that I rode over to the office building. It's interesting. Like all, all these dreams that I've been having lately, like they're relatable. Like two days ago, I had a dream about my microphone because that was like a topic of my life. Like how are we going to do a podcast about like a great microphone? It's yeah. totally working right now. Um, like I'm the social chair for my fraternity. So I think about like just random parties and random places that I could throw, but like, it's not really realistic at all. Like at one point, it's just like a basement in someone's house and then it's my front yard and there's pizza being delivered. It's intense, but um, it's just exciting to be here. Just happy to be here. <laughs> I'm glad you're here too. <laughs> that's, that's one of my favorite thing of dreams is to try to like figure out like why, like what was I thinking about that put this in the dream? Because that's what dreams kind of are. It's like however your brain's been like, going off while you're awake over the past couple of days or weeks it just kind of does that while you sleep so you, that's why you like think of the same things and i love like piecing it together mm, dude that's nuts though you had a dream about your microphone yeah that's no. so fucking random <laughs> yeah it's kind of intense uh the first the first microphone i had was like something like this thingy i don't know where the I other even part of it is oh it's right oh, here no. it's like a it's bank right, it's right here and uh yeah oh, so, God. <laughs> oh no and uh I, I didn't know if it was gonna work or not so i think mm-hmm. my dream was just like what if it doesn't work man but then uh my mom got me this which doesn't work either but you know it's good for the program and the flow it's all for the brand Big for the brand i look like a telemarketer you know dude mm-hmm. a cute telemarketer that tom brady telemarketer commercial did you guys see Ever see that one? I don't think so. No, I don't think so. Well, that 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 stinks. It was a good one. <laughs> Maybe next time. Yeah. It's just good to Will, be here. Will, how about you? So, uh, any dreams? Yeah. So I like to like write down dreams that I remember when I wake up, and I send them to friends sometimes. So one that I thought was you know, pretty interesting was from April fifteenth. So I'm just gonna like read what I wrote about it. Uh, so in the dream, I was going to some party. I don't know, with some of uh, my college friends. We were in southern New York City. It's just when in dreams, you just kind of know things. I just was like, oh, we're in the south part, close mm-hmm. to New Jersey. And we had to like jump and run like across buildings, like James Bond or something. And it was one of those things where like, it's like illegal to do that, but cops aren't going to like 
do anything because that's just what people do. And again, I don't know why that was important, but it was just like one of those things in dreams. And uh, I said, how do kids from North Jersey do that? Because I figured they would come in drunk and then go to parties. I was like, how would they do this drunk? And I was jumping mm-hmm. them with two of my friends. Mm-hmm. So we got to the party and I don't know where it went, but it was still there. And then out of nowhere, this other guy, he comes up, he just appears out of nowhere. And dude was smacked. Mm. He said he said something like, I'm so drunk. And then he just like, like, but like dead weight. Like he just stopped functioning as a human being. And then so this other kid from school, he and I were like holding him up, like trying to just make sure he didn't die. It wasn't like a intense. It was just like, it's just what was happening, but it wasn't like scary or anything. And we didn't want to like make a scene. So we told we told the DJ to play something really upbeat because we're like maybe we'll start dancing and it fucking worked and then he just like wakes up he's like not saying anything that makes sense but he's like alive now and we're like oh sick but yeah he was still like <laughs> really you brought your it. friend back to life with EDM music is what basically, we're hearing <laughs> basically that's what happened we brought him back to life with just some vibes mm. and then out of nowhere everything cleared out. And like the room changed and there was no DJ and it was like the Tufts women's soccer team were all like doing some thing and then everybody was watching. Yeah, they were like playing squash or like racquetball. It was in the middle of the party. And we're all watching. Maybe As one they were does. hosting the party. Who knows, man? Wait, have you never been to a party where they play squash before? I God, I don't want to say it losers. on the podcast. Jesus. What an amateur. Come on. Freshman. You're literally dreaming about going to a squash party. I know. God, hey. <laughs> CMG hey. podcast sponsored racquetball party. You know Whoa. what? I I really <laughs> right. I shouldn't then, be so, so harsh. Was, you guys will get there. That was the big part of the dream, and then it ended with like, so this was on like a Friday night, and then Declan, our friend Declan, was just boom. He was next to me. Our friend, yeah, yeah. So this kid from the Tufts club volleyball team, he played used to play club soccer, I guess. Or at least in my dream, he did. I don't know if that's real. And, like, he, he was supposed to, like, play with him the next day. And I was like, ah, oh, he probably won't because we have a volleyball tournament. And then Declan was like, hey, we also have a sport hose tournament, which is our extended know, front group. We'll, we'll get into that later. Yeah, the tournament. And then I was, in my head, I was like, hey, I can go to both. And, uh, yeah. It's impressive how, point. like, your dream pretty much encompassed, like, everything that's going on in your life. Yeah, it's all, I remember a lot of detail sometimes. Uh-huh. And there's, like, a cohesive plot, which is cool. I'll work on making it entertaining. I don't tell a good story. <laughs> you know, that's all right. That's all right. That's, all right. that's something I got to work yeah. on in here. You know what? You don't need to tell a good story to have a good podcast. That's yeah, not that's, something that's required. <laughs> that's the uh, that's the motto of podcast. You don't need to tell a good story to have a good podcast. You just need to tell a story. You don't mm-hmm. you don't even need to have a soothing voice. Mm-hmm. What are uh, what are we gonna do with like the first like few million we make from this podcast? Like you know I'm what? assuming we can talk it'll... about that in the next one. Oh, we could. Like yeah. I assume I assume we'll make that type of threshold like within the first few weeks of this mm-hmm. season. What are your guys' thoughts on that? Actually, whoa, whoa, whoa. I remember looking even, into the monetization. Like, it was legit. probably a month and a half before we make our first million. Let's not really? let's not overstep our bounds, you know. Okay. You know what? We want to go crazy. Let's be conservative <laughs> and say two mm-hmm. months. Exactly. I like that. I like mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. But actually, for monetization, you need like 100 subscribers, 1,000 views, or more maybe. I think it's 1,000. So, like, Being share, nice. comment, subscribe. Help Tell us make money, baby. I'm yeah. kidding. We're in it for the art. We're in it for the art. <laughs> the mm-hmm. art. Tyler, do you have any good sure, uh, sure. dreams that are maybe um, more entertaining than mine? <laughs> I mean, I gotta say, probably one of the crazier dreams I had um, was it. It was like like a year ago or something. I wrote it down. It was um, I was at a party at like CU Boulder. I don't, I don't remember, like, like you said, like dreams, you just fucking know shit sometimes. Yeah. I was just like, yeah, this is CU Boulder. I fucking know that. And honestly, it probably helps a bunch of CU Boulder kids, like a bunch of kids from our high school that like went to CU Boulder. They were all there. 
So like, um, what is it like? And those are the two that I know. So those Again. two kids. <laughs> Another one. He wasn't in the dream, but whatever. Basically, we're all at this fucking like blowout like darty. It was great. It was great. And I'm upstairs like hooking up with some girl. I I I don't remember. I don't think it was anybody specific. Congrats, I, man. I can't describe. Congrats, yeah. man. That's only awesome. in your dreams. What was it? I had to flex on my dreams. <laughs> only in my dreams, exactly. What was it? Um, but I got like it, that was like the first third of the dream, and it was like fucking crazy fun. It was great, and then I got kidnapped, and some shit happens. Crazy. You know, you know how that happens sometimes. You, you have a lot of dreams so. that are like stressful. Mm-hmm. It's kind of impressive a that. <laughs> but you honestly, get most. A lot. Yeah, no, most of the dreams I remembered, I get kidnapped. And I'm <laughs> dead serious. I'm not even kidding. But um, <laughs> who is it? Yeah, some, some, some other shit happens. You know, it is what it is. But like, I think probably the strangest part was I, I'm pretty sure I realized I was in a dream at one point. And that doesn't happen to me often. You know, people can sometimes realize that they're in dreams and take control of it and like do crazy stuff. Lucid like, dreams. I've heard exactly lucid dreams. I, I had never done that before. And I think this is probably the only time I had ever done that. And so I take control and I'm like, shit. And I just like sink into the ground. You know, when you're in a video game and you're like underneath the map and you can see everything, you can see fucking everything. That's what this is like. What was it? Like GTA or like Minecraft or some shit. You're underneath the map. You see everything. I could see like fucking everything that was there. And I just start flying like, you know, Dragon Ball Z style, whatever, you know, I, I fly into like a supermarket and lo and behold, Jake Paul is just fucking shit up total. Like, He's just being like the worst That's, person. Are you sure that like, was a dream? That over sounds the like real life. <laughs> <laughs> true, true, true. So maybe, you know what? Maybe we were bringing it back to reality because he started to like, you know, like just piss people off. He's knocking over like the employees really working hard to like get that last, like, you know, that last can on the pile. He just tips everything over. It was, and he flies right at me. And of course he's also, he's going full Dragon Ball Z, like Goku, like full, like, full on and he's coming right at me and so of course we start i don't remember if we put our hands on each other before if i just started shooting shooting like lasers out of my eyes or something but i nailed this kid down and yeah (laughs) i beat the crap out of jake paul in my dream who is it as as weird as it fucking got that's that's what i wanted i guess in my lucid dream the best thing i could think of (laughs) was to become a superhero and beat jake paul Mm -hmm. So. I've never fully lucid dreamed in what I think it is, but like I've realized I was in a dream and then like changed it. Oh. Uh, like one time it was like I was like in some place that was getting like shot up, like you know, kind of scary stuff. And I was like, uh, uh I'm gonna die like I'm not gonna be able to defend myself. I'm gonna leave. And then I just like changed from being like a character to being like a camera in a corner almost. Mm-hmm. And so I just like changed from being like a person to like an omniscient narrator. And then I watched what happened. Mm-hmm. But I didn't like do anything cool. Which would be no, sad. That happens sometimes. But yeah. Um, I don't know. I also find so I, whenever I dream, like this happens a lot too. I talk in my sleep. Um, <laughs> and I don't have, I like, I usually you don't would. say anything. It's just like gibberish. But if you guys look in the group chat, there was one time my roommate from freshman year caught me like saying stuff about my dream. I don't remember at all, but it, he had, he like typed out a full paragraph and he was like, yeah, he t- he's telling a whole story about like fighting sheep and then he needs <laughs> help. My roommate is like, yeah, this kid's freaking nuts. Like I'll just, I apparently I've done that before. I'll just like say what's happening in my dream out loud too in like full Pretty English sick. and then translate back into full gibberish <laughs> as you do. Man, the goat. My, my sister <laughs> true, would true. laugh in her sleep, and it is so freaky because it's like high pitched. Oh my not, god! Not cool. Not cool. No, that uh, that seems like some psycho shit. <laughs> this is not Jesus. scary. Yeah. All right. I don't think we have too much time left. I feel like this has been going on for yeah. We, we should time. you know we got to keep it concise. So like good one episode more thing. though. Yeah. One more thing before we wrap up. Uh, the day we're filming this tomorrow is mother's day so what plans what quick plans are you doing Ooh. to celebrate the women and our, the important women that brought us into this world shout out to all the moms out there shout out moms <laughs> hashtag moms. Out. yeah well um me and my sister i'll keep my voice down are planning on making my mom breakfast in bed so that'll Aww. be fun 
That's mm-hmm. awesome. It's good stuff. Little stuff, you know. I'm visiting my grandma with my mom. She knows we're coming because my dog mm-hmm. lives with her. So, like, this is a good opportunity for – I haven't seen my dog since I got back from school because we didn't want to go up there because she's older, obviously. So mm-hmm. she knows we're coming. And she has two other kids, like my aunt and uncle. So they're going to show up as a surprise. So that'll be sweet. Good stuff. And my mom made some dank ass brownies. Best brownies in the business. Mm. At least Yo, we got double that, digit customers that can approve of that. That could not be more true. Your mom's brownies, like they, they slap harder than like anything else. Jesus. Dude. The volleyball, the club volleyball team at Tufts. My mm. mom brought me brownies to give to them. All of them could not say enough good things about it. Mm. Take that to my grave. My mom makes the best brownies. <laughs> good stop. Good. Mm-hmm. Gima, what about you? Um, nothing crazy, uh, but definitely going to make my mom a nice card. And then uh, me and my family, I think we have the plan of like getting Indian food or just takeout or something. And then uh, going and eating it outside, just uh, celebrate another uh, good year for the moms. Yeah, it's just, it's great. Mm-hmm. That's good. Always, right. always. So to our audience members, to our, we got to come up with a funny name for everybody. Nah, nah, nah. You got to you keep it conspicuous. It's all right. They're just, for now, they're just guys. So, right. you know. Guys. Guys, thank <laughs> you so much. We're definitely going to be pumping out these podcasts. We're going to not commit to anything, but hopefully get like a good schedule going. Yeah. Especially mm-hmm. when we're all home and stuff. Um, like, like and subscribe, subscribe. Yeah. share on MySpace. Tyler mm-hmm. wrote that, but I said it out loud. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's true. Yo, we got yeah, trending on MySpace. How are we going to blow up? Mm-hmm. That's true. MySpace mm-hmm. is the way of the future. Uh, rate us high on your YOLO. I forget how YOLO works. <laughs> Add me on LinkedIn. I got uh, 100 Yik Yak. connections and uh, Ask I'm to prove that. So let's get it. Alex mm-hmm. Chima. Link. All right. Thanks for listening, everybody. Yeah. Bye. Bye. See you next time.